On my right, I have the legendary $1,000 Sennheiser MKH-416, a tool that's been around the industry for decades and an overall lovely mic that I've used for the past year or so. I bought it used for $700 off Craigslist and I was lucky to have not earned a counterfeit copy. And to my left, I have the newcomer to the market, the Deity S Mic 2. It's a $350 microphone that's already got a bunch of reviews up on YouTube and is referred to by many as the Sennheiser 416 Killer. Deity sent me this microphone to review. My first impressions are it looks and feels just like the 416, but comes with a better travel case. Now that you've heard them both back to back, and more so if you're wearing a pair of good headphones, you can probably hear a difference in the way they sound. They're both plugged into the same recorder, a mix pre 3, and the gain knobs are set exactly the same. They're both the same distance away from my face, so all things being the same, they do sound a little bit different. And personally, I do like the way the Sennheiser MKH416 sounds with my voice a little better in this side-by-side -side comparison in my sound-treated studio. Does this sound $650 better? I don't think so. If I was in the market and had to pick just one, I would probably stick with the DD S Mic 2 because unless you're listening to them side-by-side -side in a controlled environment without any audio processing, you aren't going to be able to tell which microphone is being used to record what. They both sound similar, and they both have similar pickup patterns, they both produce excellent audio, and both of them can accomplish the same job. They even look pretty similar, so unless your clients are microphone enthusiasts, they probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference anyways. In fact, let's run a test. Let's see if you can tell which microphone is being used in each of the following scenarios. And I would say put your guesses in the comments, but you would probably just cheat and skip to the end for that anyways. So instead, just put you're right or you couldn't tell the difference or something like that. For my first test, I've got it boomed over my shower, which is like a glass and tile cage. So it's the most reflective environment that I have. And this is what it sounds like in a completely untreated bedroom. So here's what we sound like in a garage. And by the way, this is my sound stand. And here we are outside on a kind of windy day and I've got a noisy air conditioner running over there. So could you tell which microphone was used where? Well, guess what? That was actually all the DD S Mic 2. It produces beautiful audio and again, you'd likely only be able to tell the difference in a side-by-side -side comparison. But because you're probably wondering, here's the side-by-side -side comparison anyways in all of those situations. For my first test, I've got it boomed over my shower, which is like a glass and tile cage. For my first test, I've got it boomed over my shower, which is like a glass and tile cage. And this is what it sounds like in a completely untreated bedroom. And this is what it sounds like in a completely untreated bedroom. So here's what we sound like in a garage. So here's what we sound like in a garage. And here we are outside on a kind of windy day. And here we are outside on a kind of windy day. If you're wondering about my sound stand, it's a build that I've did a few weeks ago, a couple months ago, but I've only recently perfected with the Bebop batteries. I'll have links to those videos in the description of this one. Let me show you how I've got the second microphone up here. So I know that uh, it's not beautiful and some of you elitists might say that it affects the sound quality having two microphones bound so closely to each other, but I don't think that it's gonna matter that much for this particular comparison. Now, if you go through my last five videos, I used the S Mic 2 in a couple of them without really saying anything about it. But I bet you can't tell which ones used the MKH 416 and which ones used the S Mic 2. But the main reason I would recommend the DD microphone over the Sennheiser microphone is a $1,000 microphone isn't going to help you make better content, tell better stories, or do your job better. And that's what you should be worried about if you're investing in equipment like this. The S Mic 2 will cover all your microphone needs and is already being used on professional sets for movies. So if it's good enough for them, save the $650 and spend it on other tools that might actually help you tell better stories, like an online course or lighting or something. Speaking of which, I've got to review this thing pretty soon. 
So uh, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.